Hi everyone, this is Nikki Rowland and today I have a layout to share for Bramble Fox. I am using um, the April Fox box, the Weekend Shenanigans um, uh, perspective title, the stencil from the Fox box plus, and this new little set here, which is new to the shop. Um, as I'm currently recording this, it's not in the shop yet, it's not been released yet, so um, I don't know the name of it, but um, I'm sure it will have a very quirky name as I usually do. So um, anyway, so um, I really wanted to use the True Colours collection by Simple Stories. Um, I'm sorry for the bad lighting. Um, I forgot to um, turn my exposure up. Um, so unfortunately, I can't make it any brighter on screen uh, because then it just becomes way overexposed. It's already up to the limit. Um, I should have done it on my camera um, in the first place. So uh, we just have to bear with me um, on this one. But um, yeah, so I'm using the um, True Colours collection by Simple Stories. Um, and in that collection, they have um, these two papers that are the same, but in different colourways. So green, with, sorry, yeah, green with um, white and dark green stars and a pink with white and dark pink stars. And I thought it'd be really nice to use them together. And originally I thought I would go for a half and half design. So I'd have half of my page six by 12 green, half pink. Um, and then I decided to make that a smaller square in the middle. So like an eight by eight square. Um, and then I decided to turn it um, vertically, sorry, horizontally instead of vertically. Um, and that worked really well because it gave me a line to put my, um, my title on. And I love how that looks. Um, so it was a complete accident. It wasn't really planned. Um, the half and half thing was because I wanted to feature those two papers. Um, but the weekend shenanigans look so good, popped against that pink. Um, yeah, great fun. So I'm happy, really happy with how that turned out. So yeah, I've just cut those two pieces. They're four by eight each. Um, I've distressed the edges, but I wasn't planning to distress the middle edge. I think I might have done it by accident. Um, but I cover most of it up anyway, so it's fine. Um, over on the left hand side and uh, off of the pattern square, I've got my two photos. I'm going to add some tags from the tag paper um, and um, I'm planning to use loads of these fabulous little bits and pieces. I wish I knew what they were called um, from that new set um, in the shop. Um, it has arrows, it has tabs, it has um, little uh, tabs. Um, it has photo corners, it has cameras, it has plus signs. Um, it just, it just, ha it does everything. It has everything. Um, so it's a great, it's a really good little set. Um, and then from the Fox Box, I'm using the Weekend Shenanigans, obviously, title, but also the sun and the clouds um, in the top corner of my layout. Um, and I decided before I went to stick down my um, square that I wanted to use the stencil from the Fox Box Plus, the film strip camera. Um, uh, stencil and I've used um, the Picked Raspberry by Tim Holtz, the Distress Oxide, um, and just done a little bit of it poking out from the side. And I can't believe how well that turned out. Um, I know I've got some lighting and therefore color issues um, going on on this video, um, but um, when you see the real pictures, it looks really, really good. Um, I'm so happy with how it turned out. Um, okay, so here we go. I've moved on. I've gone back and stuck everything down now. Um, I decided to make another cluster over on the right-hand side. Um, and um, I've gone for a couple of the cut-apart squares from one of the Simple Stories True Colors papers, you know, the 2x2, two 4x4 two, four four elements, um, plus some floral ephemera, of course. Um, and then I've used some of the paper snips. Um, uh, I don't have the number of what they are in front of me, uh, so forgive me for not knowing um, what they are, um, but um, I'll try and list them in my post um, below. Um, I'll go and search them out and find out what number they were, but they really went beautifully with the True Colors collection, so that's why I poured those ones out and uh, used those instead of the current Fox Fox ones. Um, so just made a little cluster over on the right-hand side using bits from those paper snips and um, the extra um, like tabs and things from that set. Um, then over on the left, um, you can see that I've cut out a couple of um, labels there also from the paper snips. One says, life is always better together. And the other one says, today was awesome. Um, this, these photos, uh, we're at a fair, fun fair. Um, this was on holiday and we decided to um, head over to the other side of the island. We have a, a place in Lanzarote. Um, and so we decided to head over to the other side of the island to go to this fun fair. And 
it wasn't the best day, to be honest, um, even though, um, you know, they were ex so excited to go. Um, when we got there, um, my daughter, Sophie, had a teenage meltdown, totally just had a teenage moment. She was like, nope, not going on anything, you know, as they do, very hormonal, um, and just just wouldn't enjoy herself at all. And we managed to get her on a few things, but she was very grumpy and pulling faces and constantly moaning and saying she didn't want to be there and she didn't want to go on anything whereas normally this is really her thing um so you know they do this sometimes don't they teens or she's only she's a preteen um but uh, but anyway um I managed to capture these couple of photos one of she's on one of them and my little boy who's uh four well, four at the time um is looking super duper happy um in the middle of the two of them so um so yeah even though um there's a funny little story behind it you know I'm looking at the photos thinking oh, yes they're great photos and yes we had a good time but actually Sophie had such a strop and then she wouldn't go on anything with Max so therefore Max then couldn't go on anything um and I was looking after Theo so I couldn't go on anything and uh, my husband Ben is too big to go on a lot of these things so um <laughs> It was, um, so therefore, then poor Max couldn't go on anything. Um, and I was with Theo on all the baby rides. And uh, honestly, it was just hilarious. And then Sophie wandering off in a strop. So, you know what? Sometimes um, it is funny to document those stories. And in my... Um, in my journaling, I do actually explain that um, because I think it is important to have real life on scrapbook pages sometimes. Not everything is um, always roses, certainly not in our house. Um, so, so it is nice to put the true life, the real life things in sometimes. Um, anyway, back to the layout. Um, I'm still um, building and building and building all of these little bits and pieces. I've got so much uh, from the True Stories, sorry, the True Colors collection um, that I'm just trying to squeeze in as much as possible. So, um, I added some ribbon to my tags. Um, I'm just adding lots of embellishments, so extra bits and pieces and stickers. I've got uh, word stickers, I think. I've got sunglasses. I've got more. I've got decorative brads as well. Um, I'm going to come in soon with some sequins. Um, I should also mention that I stitched around the two tags behind my photo photos um, and I also stitched around the big pattern paper square in the middle of the layout as well obviously I did that before I started adding all of the embellishments because um, otherwise that would have been a bit tricky um, and um, yeah I'm just going to say really these clusters are massive there's so much in each one um, yeah so I just um, just continuing to build up and build up and build up and add more and more and more and different layers and different um, textures I like to have different textures in all my clusters so um, so yeah um, just, just going through and adding some enamel dots now as well and I think I'm going to go and add some sequins in a minute oh just adding some word stickers first so I've added a couple that say so much fun and this equals awesome it was fun and it was awesome even though we had a bit of a strop in the middle a major strop <laughs> So here I'm coming in with some sequins. I've got a couple of different mixes by Spiegel Mum Scraps. Um, I'm using um, a paper piercing tool. Um, it's just, just a paper piercing tool, nothing special, just a paper piercing tool. Um, I put a little bit of glossy accents on the end, um, which makes it a bit sticky or tacky. And then that allows me to pick the sequins up, move them, put a bit of glue down, um, and then place the sequin back in position and that just works really well for me so that's me just sticking down my sequins quick shake test there to make sure that um, everything is stuck um, and then I'm going to come in with some um, splatters of black paint over the top of the clusters um, and there we go and that oh and you can see I've got my um, journaling at the bottom there um, handwritten in so there we go all done there we go the colors are so much better there sorry for the bad lighting um but yeah all, all finished um I'm, there's a stenciling I really love how it turned out um it was a really fun layout to make um fantastic perspectives of course the weekend shenanigans brilliant um and uh, yeah so thank you very much for joining me that was Nikki Rowland for Bramble Fox <laughs>